Mm. Something you talked about necessary sacrifices. What mm. do you mean exactly? What I meant exactly is to the girls. They should be ready to play their to play their part. A case in point, if you're in high school and really want those very great grades, you're going to have to really read hard in class. You're going to have to forego certain things, you know? Like having a very demanding boyfriend, you can really wait. But, you know, there is the old adage that goes that you cannot eat your cake and have it. You cannot be the one that's always, you know, clubbing 24-7. You know, the one who's always just spending time on Facebook chatting with your boyfriend. The one who's always just indulging classes because, you know, you want to have extra sleep in the dormitories. and so you expect bad to have a get boyfriend, the guys. It's not really bad. I can't say it's bad, but it's about getting your priorities right. Sure. What yes, right. each of us knows our weaknesses and strength. If you know, as Ernest Rickley, I'm not going to be able to 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 balance that the, the, the needs of having a boyfriend and being able to concentrate very well in class. Then I think you'd rather step foot until a time when you feel you're ready, you're mature enough to do that. Yes. With the young girl's boyfriends, no. Ah, I will not say that I'm passing a rule, but for my opinion, I think until a level someone is very young, a level is fair enough, and that's if you feel that you're truly mature. But I wouldn't advise someone in S fan below to have a boyfriend because I don't believe they have the emotional maturity to handle the the demands of a relationship and at that point even someone has not really truly discovered themselves so if you're not really discovered yourself you don't even, you may not even know exactly who's the person that's best for you so that's when you that's why you find people always in and out of flings jumping in and out of relationships getting heartbreaks at an early age getting frustrated at an early age and then you think all oh, men are beasts but it's because at the end of the day you also had the wrong motives because you are not yet fully discovered yourself and you ended up on that Okay, to, to them, what, what you are trying to say, who is that, uh, who is that particular, who, I mean, when is the time when someone says, yeah, here, I'm, I'm matured, I can really... Actually, be... there can never be a perfect time, because you find someone at 25, and they, are, they still work within themselves that has to go on. For example, you find she's still struggling with issues of bitterness, she's still struggling with issues of... of hatred against men probably she grew up in a home where her father was abusive she's still struggling with she only discovered herself you know probably she's looking for a boyfriend to be some knight in shining armor her source of help her source of happiness not knowing that she's primarily responsible for happiness so until a time when you can say that at least i feel emotionally mature it may be 30 it may be 25 it may be 18 Okay, I'm not I mean about like uh, for those at the university. Mm -hmm. What is that that we want to give a word of encouragement to those who are struggling in relationships? What I would tell those at the university, first and foremost, get back to the drawing board. What are your priorities? You know, everything in life will have goals. You went to school, you had goals. Well, probably I want to do arts because I want to be a lawyer. I want to finish my four years, go to LDC and become start practice. The same thing, that's what we should have for our relationships. You're in this relationship, where is it going? And you should have the boundary set. For instance, when you come to the university, you know the rules and regulations. That should be the same for your relationship. Many times people just enter into relationships and it's like, they didn't know, they didn't see the thing coming and they just entered there and they're in the middle of the thing. They didn't have principles set in the beginning, they didn't have objectives, so at the end of the day, it's like they're trying. Each person, they are just move. It's like a blind person moving in the forest. They don't really know what they are doing, so they are getting frustrated. Why are they getting frustrated? Because in the very first point, they didn't have standards as them as individuals before they got into a relationship. So when the person, when you don't have a standard, you can fall for anything. And at the end of the day, they get frustrated because they see the course of that the relationship is taking is not the right course. But yet again, they didn't have objectives, they didn't have standards, so there's no way that they can measure. So at the end of the day, I would just tell girls out there, please, do self-discovery. Why are you in the relationship in the first place? You know, make sure that your motives are right. And at the end of the day, my brother should, should be able to, you, you and the man sh should be able to make each other better. If it's just for the sake of being in a relationship, you'd rather stop it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.